Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I have an accent. Welcome to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur, prehistoric, and such. My name is Tal. I'm going to be your host through this prehistoric adventure, and today we're going to be covering all the information you want to know about the amazing and massive Mosasaurus. So before we jump into that, make sure you leave us a like and comment down below your favorite dinosaur or prehistoric animal. As well, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single episode from this dinosaur quick dive series. And let's jump right into the Mosasaurus. The Mosasaurus, an ancient marine lizard. The name Mosasaurus means lizard of the Mose River. So how long ago and where did the Mosasaurus live? Well, the Mosasaurus actually existed during the Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era. The range of time it lived in was about 60 to 70 million years ago. It's hard to pinpoint exactly where this animal lived because it was a marine reptile, it roamed around the oceans, but fossils of the Mosasaurus have been found in North Africa, Europe, and North America. But once again, since it could swim, it could potentially go anywhere around the world. But paleontologists do believe that it's stuck to shallower waters, but we'll get into that in the behavior part of this video. <laughs> oh, hi Mr. Mosasaurus. What'd you look like, bud? Well, I can tell you, it didn't look like this. Oh boy, I'm about to ruin some stuff for you again. It's a time for a side note! Hi, welcome to the side note segment of this show. This is a part of the show where I ruin everything you love and any prehistoric animal you cared about. Viewer discretion is advised. So, as for the pesky Jurassic World Mosasaurus that you all know and love, it wasn't real! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I've mentioned this numerous times in the past in other episodes. The dinosaurs and prehistoric animals that you guys see in TV shows and movies are not usually factually and historically accurate. This is definitely the case with the Mosasaurus from the beloved lagoon in Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now, does it look kind of similar to what the Mosasaurus looked like? Yeah, there's not too much off there. But, size-wise, this thing was the size of a building. And the real Mosasaurus, not that big. Not to say that this animal wasn't massive, it was huge, but not that huge. And just to note, there's a YouTuber who made an incredible video explaining all the details of the factual inaccuracies of the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World, and he released it during the release of Jurassic World at that time, so make sure that you check that out. As well, just like I mentioned in the Pteranodon episode, the Mosasaurus was not a dinosaur. <laughs> Please don't call it a dinosaur. It wasn't a dinosaur, never be a dinosaur. Cool? It was a marine reptile. It swam in the oceans, yes, but not a dinosaur. Jeez, I hate those side note segments. So now that we're back in the real world, let's dive right back into its appearance. The Mosasaurus could have reached lengths of up to 56 feet. That's the largest specimen that has been found so far. And it could have weighed up to 30,000 pounds. Imagine like a T-Rex, but underwater and a little bit bigger. Besides that, the Mosasaurus had four fins on its body, two smaller ones in the back and two larger ones in the front that helped it propel through the waters. As well, it had a massive tail with a massive fin on the back that also helped it navigate the old Cretaceous seas. It had an enormous cone-shaped head with a massive set of jaws and a huge mouth able to gobble up delicious prehistoric prey. And as well, we have to mention that this animal came from a group of animals called the Mosasaurus. These are animals like the Tylosaurus and the Hynosaurus. So why is the Mosasaurus undoubtedly the most popular marine reptile around? Well, for starters, this prehistoric reptile had a whole documentary made about it called T-Rex of the Deep, where you got to learn all about the factually accurate Mosasaurus, more or less. And then as well, featured in our favorite series of all time, Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, where it was depicted as an enormous marine reptile the, about the size of a building. It helped with the genesis of Jurassic World and the eventual destruction of Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Amazing animal to see as always. And finally, let's jump into what this animal ate and how it behaved. Well, for one, the Mosasaurus was definitely a carnivore, no doubt about that. Like I mentioned earlier, we know that it stuck around shallower areas feeding on smaller animals like turtles and fish, ammonites and such, but also its diet included larger animals such as smaller Mosasaurs, Plesiosaurs, and even Pterosaurs. Yes, just like the movie, but it jumped out of the water and caught them up, eating them from the sky. As for behavior, these animals were probably pretty independent, staying in solitude for most of their lives, besides time where they had to, you know, make a babies. And they were also known to have bad vision, relying on other senses to navigate the underwater world. And that, my friends, is the Mosasaurus. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I definitely enjoyed the Mosasaurus, another non-dinosaur that we've covered on this channel. And I hope you guys loved it, because I did, and I love the Mosasaurus. And with that, I'm gonna let you know that you should subscribe 
to this channel, turn on that notification button so you don't miss any quick dive on any dinosaur or prehistoric animal that we do because we're covering all the animals from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom on this show. As well, leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up. Comment down below dinosaur you would like to see in the future. As well, if you like this show and you want to help support it, you can check out our PayPal down below in the description. You can send us a donation if that's something you want to do. And we will see you in the next episode when we cover the Sinoceratops. I will see you then. Goodbye.